Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is the fourth part of the Dredge Pill Reach DLC guide, but what this actually is, is just a look at the things that um, I previously thought were added with the Pill Reach DLC, but uh, after doing some research, I found out this is actually an update. This is update three that happened uh, in mid-September. It's now uh, the mm. end of November, almost December. So this actually happened about two months before <laughs> I uh, I got the Pale Reach DLC and downloaded uh, uh. the new content. So, which is strange because I could have sworn I was even in the game at some point in September. But maybe I'd moved on to Inscription and a couple other games that I was playing and doing guides for and so forth. So, this is um, Capture that we already looked at in the previous video. This is basically what I uh, first discovered when I came to Little Marrow and found the painter. So at the beginning of this video, you will see um, a, few, a few moments that I did show at the end of part three for the Pale Reach DLC. Just because um, I happened to discover it and you know I, I cut out the photographer that all all of that was covered in update 2 but um, we're basically the purpose of this video now is to um, just show you the aberrations the crabberations as some people are calling them <laughs> I've been all over the internet trying to figure out um, basically whether or not these, I believe it's 10, and we will we'll figure that out by the end of this video. Um, there's at least, I mean, there's obviously eight, because you need two crab aberrations from each of the four corners of the map. So, um, well, that's, that's incorrect. No, there has to be, has to be, that's probably at least 12, because I forgot to count the marrows. So you need two from the Marrows here. You need two from uh, Gale Cliffs, two from Stellar Basin, two from Twisted Strand, and two from Devil's Spine. And I know there is an additional one in um, Stellar Basin, and there's an additional uh, like snail in Devil's Spine that you don't need for the paint, but they are they do have their aberrations. Um, I'm not sure if I go through everything here. Maybe we do. Let's see. So um, you're going to see a lot of other aberrations missing. That is because in my main account, for some reason, it had deleted some of the aberrations that I had caught. Those are the two uh, Marrow's aberrations right there. That's what we need to find. Um, and it even had, you know, forgotten that I had found anchovies and a couple other open ocean, um, late game, uh, fish, very, you know, fish, um, species, I guess. There you have the Gale Cliffs, two aberrations. Um, this, uh, jellyfish aberration I had found in Stellar Basin early in the game. So I don't know exactly what happened when they, when the update went through. It looked like it uh, erased some of the things that I had caught previously in the game. And a lot of them, pretty easy to, to, to catch again. There's the two uh, stellar, I mean, Twisted Strand aberrations. A couple of these we had caught in the main game. Some of them, a few of them, were in Update 2 as new aberrations. There is the uh, Devil's Spine. And then, of course, we have the Anchovy King. And the, um, I forget what it's called, but the Prawn Aberration is another new one. So the Prawn Aberration, the Snail, the um, Crown of Thorns, I think it's called, from Stellar Basin. Those all are... New aberrations that, if we need to catch all aberrations for the Aberration Attractor Trophy, um, those you're going to want to uh, start setting pots out for. The Prawn, specifically the prawn, the new Prawn, uh, you can only catch 
with the trawl net, but um, if you have upgraded all your equipment, if you have the latest and greatest trawl net, or if you um, went through the Pale Reach DLC and you have the new, uh, I forget what exactly what it's called, but the reward for getting all four of those glass hearts. Um, that is the, the net that I use right there, the Radiant Trawl Net. That's the one that I use quite often. And uh, you should catch it pretty easily. Now, something that I don't know if I had mentioned in the previous video, I think I did. Something that was added with Update 3 is this Aberration Bonus. Up in the top you see 11.5%. Now, certain rods, especially the um, the shrine rewards, all the fishing items that we got f after making sacrifices to the shrines, those all have aberration bonuses. Um, even some of the trawl nets have aberration bonuses. And certain things that you would think would have major aberration bonuses don't. They just have like, you know, a couple couple extra. There are also I think I think there was previously at least one book reward that um, gave us an aberration bonus, but the newest book from the uh, the white hooded figure gives you a four percent aberration bonus so there's lots of ways to improve your chances if you are uh, finding that you're not having the best luck but even with our aberration bonus up pretty much as high as I could I mean I could probably have swapped out some of these more um, eldritch or you know Lovecraftian um, fishing devices um, you know, maybe by putting them in our cargo hold, whether or not we're using them to catch the fish, you know, maybe it would have helped us, um, especially with these crabs. You need all the help you can get because you'll see, I mean, you won't see in great detail because I can only, um, see there's the anchovy getting caught for the probably fifth or sixth time that I played this game. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run into some issues about having to really grind out um, the crab pots to catch certain uh, aberrations that we need, and one or two at the end that we don't need for paint, but um, we will need if we have to collect all aberrations. So this is the book that we got from the uh, the white hooded figure. And it gives us a 4% aberration catch chance. So um, if you get the hooded figure from the Pale Reach, all three of it, the aberrated fishes that it asks for, um, which is an ice fish aberration, a uh, sea stars aberration, and a stargazer aberration, um, then you will get that book. And then if you travel enough and fish enough, to find to uh, to finish the book, you get an extra four percent added to your aberration bonus. So, um, along with the uh, collection of aberrated crabs for painting customizations, you can also collect and discover a few more flags that you can hang. Um, when we first visited the painter, he had I think two or three flags available and uh, I believe there's I want to say there's maybe five more um, I'm pulling these numbers out of my butt we will by the end of this video you will know exactly how many there are um, but yeah there uh, there's a couple flags you can find and there's two or three flags that are available um, once you meet the painter um, and if you notice I did mark that I'm gonna be marking all of the places that we find the flags I will have that available um, as part of this video, and also I'm going to add it to the uh, the trophy guide on PlayStationTrophies.org. Um, here we just caught our first crab aberration that we need for the painter, and this is in a Gale Cliffs, and it gives us um, 
Pale Red, I believe, is the name of the color. It's a reddish color. Wow. It looks almost orange. There is another there's another variation that is orange, so it's not that, so I think it's called Pale Red. And you see the Anchovy King there, and um, the Red Snapper Aberration. Both of those, there's like two or three aberrations that I had caught in that, in that moment. I, I cut that out because there's no need in showing that again. And I wanted to keep this video um, down under an hour. Here's the malignant pincer that we caught in the marrows. Um, our second aberrated crab catch in the game. This one will add uh, a mint green color once we catch the little guy, which won't do for a while. So a lot of this is just going to be basically me going back and forth from the um, the corners of the map. I mean, I catch the Marrow's crabs pretty easily, and of course we have to come back here. Every time you catch a crab, you want to deposit it with the painter. You don't want to uh, leave it sitting in your cargo, because if it spoils to the point of uh, becoming mm -hmm. trash, then you lose your catch, you know, and you can't can't give it to the painter. So uh, we have um, the first flag that we discovered. We delivered it to the painter, and I didn't realize the first flag I I found I actually delivered. I thought um, I had just kind of deposited or started using it because later on you'll see me do the same thing with mm. uh, a different flag. Rusty red. Nope, not rusty red. Here we go. Maple orange. Okay, it is maple orange. Rusty red was the first selection, I guess. In my uh, in my head, I, I saw that at the top and th thought that was the second the second uh, string of colors. That's the purple. Both of those are found in Stellar Basin, and one of those is um, the lobster that you need to make sure that you set your pot in a very deep area in order to catch. These are the uh, the yellow um, twisted strand crabs and of course the black devil's spine crabs. Hmm? As I mentioned previously, um, we're about to catch the leeching prawn here. Uh, I believe I show you where I am on the map after I catch it. Um, only can catch with the trawl net out, and I suggest using the new trawl net that you get from the Pale Reach as a reward for freeing the four frozen spirits and submitting the glass hearts to the shrine. So right there in between Stellar Basin and Gale Cliffs. Back in Stellar Basin here, um, I believe this is another apparated crab. Yep, we got our first uh, purple, the entangled crab. And that, uh, that big Thing. I think it's called Crown of Thorns. That is the that's the one item that takes me the longest. And the uh, I, I think I have like a good six or seven crab pots out by the end of my run here to finally catch it at the end of this video. Um, this is uh, feel, look, it looks like it's close to the Pale Reach to be honest. Um, we'll take a look at where we are in just a second here, but this is another flag. Oh, not even close to the Pale Reach. I saw something in the distance and I thought it was uh, glaciers. There you go. In between Gel Cliffs and the Marrows is our next flag. And is this my favorite one? It is the, the Ouroboros. I decided to use that. 
been playing a lot of dredge, been playing a lot of um, inscription, and been spending a lot of time on those two games, getting those guides ready in the past few months. So I figured, why not? <laughs> why not keep the Ouroboros going? And uh, at this point, I realize one of the markers is the flag. So why not just make <laughs> all the markers a flag? Because it's kind of silly to make it an anchor. That doesn't really work. So we're just going to change that real quick. And be on our way. Here we are outside Twisted Strand. This is uh, pretty close to one of the airplane crash sites. And this is another one of our flags to find. We're going to get pretty much three flags in a row here. This one is the hook. So neat. Some of them are straight rectangles. Some of them have um, a little design to it. Some of them look ripped. They're not all just basic rectangles of flags. There's some depth and some detail and a little originality in a lot of them. It's nice. And of course, I'm going to head back here. I almost almost forgot to do this, but uh, it's important to use the markers now that we have them. You know, they they, they put these in uh, update one, being able to allow us to mark the map instead of just using crab pots. <laughs> I'm using crab pots enough in this place. And here is our third flag in a row. This is heading back to the Marrows from Twisted Strand. We discovered another what looks like a normal rectangle as I just said oh they're all different um, and this one is the serpent I believe there's one or two more flags to find so we will be seeing that a little later in the video um, I'm gonna mark this and then we will return to uh, the flags in a little bit. But first, I think we have more um, crab aberrations to catch and show you. Hmm. 
So with the flags, I mean, anytime you happen to be back here, you may as well deposit those flags, but at least the flags won't spoil, so you can hold on to them as long as you need to. But here we are in the, uh, in the Marrows, Greater Marrow, and we finally caught um, the second one that we need, the Cerebral Crab. We'll be adding that. We'll be able to have our first... customization paint I believe I, I think so I mean there was a couple other paints that we had before but um, I think this I think the cerebral crab is the first time we'll actually have a pair of crabs that we need to have a new paint let's take a look and see what happens here I wasn't sure what I was doing there. That's why I sped this up to double time. Um, I don't know if I was assuming that he was just going to go ahead and paint the thing without me pressing any more buttons. I Or I was, who knows, falling asleep or got distracted or something. But um, So I decided to speed that up double time just so, just so I don't waste any more of your time. But um, that is uh, essentially how it works. You, put, you give him both crabs that... Um, that have that apparated um, kind of color scheme and then from then on out you can customize using that um, if you notice the bunting um, in the back also kind of matches the color I think I don't know if it automatically does that or if you have to adjust the bunting so that it does that but um, I'm gonna, you're gonna see that happen a few times here um, something that I, I should probably mention um, in case uh, you didn't uh, pick up on it and here we got the the um, the deep water imperious lobster that you have to use uh, crab pot in very deep waters um, but if you notice we were in the deep water where the beast in stellar basin is this is passive mode um, I put this on to get these crabs picked up to get all the aberrations that I needed to get to have a hundred percent um, in the game as passive mode was added in update 2 uh, it's very useful it, it makes the game um, a lot less stressful you don't have to worry about a monster knocking you down or swallowing you up or anything it can still happen if you go to the ends of the the uh, map the leviathan will, uh, is that what it's called? I think it is um, will still gobble you up because you're not supposed to be there <laughs> and uh, that's basically how they uh, they write that situation um, but as far as working especially in stellar basin that's a great example when you have passive mode on the kraken beast that's in the basin will not attack you and you can go in and out of the basin without ever having to worry about it so um, that's one of the major reasons why I had that turned on passive mode so that uh, we could do this so just keep that in mind um, I would not suggest just going into the middle of the stel of stellar basin willy-nilly um, and and you know to have a plan that if you're going to need to get into the middle of the basin that you either use the device if you have it hooked up or you switch to passive mode so that you don't get wrecked so to speak um, I think I had put in some of these ice pieces just because I had them. Did I have them or did I just buy them? I'm not sure. Um, I'm buying them, aren't I? It looks like I'm buying them. Um, because I wanted to make sure that none of my new crab aberration catches uh, were spoiled. I think I'm planning on... Did I move? I think I moved them to the trawl net, which is 
a little tricky to do sometimes, but um, very useful because the trawl net, while submerged in water, none of your fish are going to spoil. So I always like using the trawl net for that. See, so there's our uh, storage locker. Oh, I see. I put them in storage, and now I'm going to put them in the trawl net for good keeping. Because we do not want that spiny lobster, spiny lobster lost. There is one instance while I was collecting these aberrations where I had a crab from the Devil's Spine that I needed to give to the painter and I forgot I still had it and I sold all my fish with that included and then catching that specific crab aberration a second time took probably about three or four in-game days. It was ridiculous. So. Once you have these, I suggest going straight to the painter, depositing them, if you want to get 100% of this customization um, without too much hassle. Um, and also if you're, I mean, if you're looking to just get the Aberration Attractor trophy, once you catch them the first time, that's all you need to do. You don't need to keep it, you don't need to sell it, you don't need to cook it up and eat it, you know, you're fine, you know. Um, but to get 100% of the customization options i wanted to make sure that every single aberration gets turned in that needs to be turned in i just cut out uh, dropping the purple crabs off as you can see i am now purple and i have now found the first of the two yellow paint aberration crabs Crab aberrations, crab aberrations, the Meyer Screecher, and I think very shortly we're going to also see the uh, horseshoe crab aberration here. We will be taking a look at all of the colors. See, it's right there. Effigy crab. Great. Uh, we will be t going through all the colors. I'll be showing them off um, one by one towards the end of the video. In case you're just curious what they all look like. If you want to just watch and not worry about it. Not, not collect these on your own. There you go. Here's the Sable Reacher in Devil's Spine. Um, one of the two aberrations that you need for the black. And this was the one that I stored away and forgot about. And <laughs> ended up selling off and having to spend another three or four in-game days waiting for it to show up in a crab pot again in Devil's Spine. It was ridiculous. Here we are at the, uh, the I think it's the bottom of Gale Cliffs. Not, it's not the opening that you normally go into. It's uh, either one of the sides. Yeah, see, it's all the way at the bottom here. And this is our, I think, our penultimate flag. If we find this one and turn it in and realize there's one left to deal with. So we'll go looking for that a little bit later. Yeah, this is the Skull and Bones. I feel like this is the second to last one. Right at the bottom of Gale Cliffs. And just because I wasn't certain I had shown delivering an actual flag, I thought maybe all of the other ones I had just deposited somehow, or I don't know. I don't know why. But uh, here we are delivering the Skull and Bones flag. And then we finally found the second orange aberration, Decorator Crab. That's not what it was called. No, it's not kind of like a rock crab or something. What is it? Decorator crab. And this one's called the Cortex Decorator. Okay. So it's got a big orange brain popping out of it. Some of these I was able to um, leave the cursor on so you could read the 
the purple flavor text there. But that allowed us to get the, uh, the orange paint. Here is the other black crab that we need. The umbral puppet. With that, we are nearly done finding all of the paint colors. Here is the um, the grasping snail. This is another aberration. You don't need this for the painter, but it is one of uh, I believe the th three other aberrations that were added in update three. Um, I, I kept these in as well. This is kind of more related to update two, and I do have uh, examples of it in my update two video, but I'm just showing the location of all the sunfish and moonfish aberrations um, because they were definitely the hardest things to catch. And I feel like it took me that long to catch it. Maybe it's useful just to show on the map where I caught it, what my experience was. That um, is definitely the aberration that came with update two. The other one, the charred sunfish, I will show you where I caught that. But um, chances are you already have that one if you've already... Well, if you've already platinum the game, you probably already have the charred one. Um, with any fish that we catch, um, especially if we use atrophy and it shows up as infected... We just register that we caught it so that it's in the book and then we get rid of it because you don't want that infection to spread. The other two moonfish. The moonfish were really difficult to catch, I found. Um, here's the other uh, sunfish, I believe. It looks like it's daytime. Um, the moonfish were diff very, def very difficult, I apologize, very difficult to catch because um, with the pale reach, I believe the entire map has kind of a, a fog applied to it. It was very foggy every single night when I was out. I don't remember the game being normally as foggy, and I think it has something to do with the Pale Reach DLC. Because they mentioned something, I think the Traveling Merchant mentioned something about uh, a fog covering the, the land when you're in the Pale Reach, when, that's, when that DLC starts out. Um, so here we are. I'm trying to figure out where anything is. Very difficult to see. And, uh, there is the moonfish. Happen to be right next to it. Probably would not have been able to find it if it was any further away. So we're coming out of De uh, Twisted Strand, I'll say Death Stranding, uh, Twisted Strand to get the Skeletal Moonfish. This, uh, I believe, is from the main game. But again, I just wanted to show where these are because they're very um, temperamental. Oceanic. One can only be caught during the day and one can only be caught during the night. And now... Whatever the reasoning is, it seems like it's difficult to see at night. A lot more difficult than it used to be. At least as far as I can remember. And we are just coming out of the night here. Like literally one second <laughs> later and I probably would not have been able to catch it. But apparently I did. 628. There you go. Both moonfish. Aberrations. And uh an extra moonfish to boot. So you can see all the crab pots I had there. That was me trying to re-catch the, um, the one crab aberration that has the, the black um, on, the, on the middle of, of its body. I'm not sure why I showed the, the, fl uh, the map just then. But here we are. We... I must have I must have just caught it and then cut that out. Yeah, so I just caught this other sable uh, reacher, and I believe, if 
I'm not mistaken, hmm. that was the last color I needed. So I'm going to now, maybe, maybe not. No, nope, not yet. Doesn't look like I'm doing it yet. But fairly soon we're gonna take a look at all of the colors. Hmm. And uh, the way that I did it was I decided to show you the color name and then cut out painting the roof and going back and selecting the hull and you're going to see each one of them um, I'm going to reposition the boat and you're going to see each one of the paint variations on the left side of your screen here in just a minute or so we're first going to just pretty up our boat adjust the bunting I thought I adjusted it, I must have or at least adjust it on its own. I'm going to do a little twirl. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you all of the colors. One after another. Uh, just so you can get an idea. And uh, if you like what you see. Then you know, if, you, if you are partial to a particular color. And you're not interested in doing the full 100% of customization. Um, this can at least show you what it all looks like. You can get an idea. And... If you really want one of these colors, you go out, find those two crabs, make that happen, and then spend the rest of the game enjoying your new ride, or at least new colored ride. So I'm just gonna let these um, play out. You can see all the colors, and we'll come back for the final flag and um, the final aberration catch. So, full disclosure, this is one that I actually looked up um, because apparently this update happened two months ago. <laughs> um, there was information out in the internet all about it, so um, I realized that I had missed something called the iFlag when I had turned in my other uh, flags, and here it is, the back of Devil's Spine. center. It's funny how those islands kind of look like Hawaii. But like a mirror image of them. 
Um, and I believe the last thing we have here is, yes, it's looking like you're going to see me uh, catch... We're going to deliver the flag. Mm. We're going to go through all the flag variations semi-quickly. And then we are going to catch the final aberration. And we're going to look through the encyclopedia. So you can see every aberration that the game has to offer at this moment. The end of November of 2023. On the PlayStation version of Dredge. After updates 1, 2, and 3 and the Pale Reach DLC I think it's I think it's 1.4 I want to say is the update updated version of the game that we're playing here there is one more DLC that is planned to come out but it, that was pushed to 2024 and that involves uh, sorry that involves a oil rig of some kind or something. I'm not entirely sure. So, plenty more coming from this game. A lot more to look forward to. Again, this is, you know, showing you these customization things, but um, we deal mainly with trophies here. Um, I do worry, you know, with, with this game adding aberrations with a lot of these updates, I don't want anyone to see my former guides and think oh well, all I gotta do is get these 61 aberrations and I'll have the platinum I mean if you download and play the game now with all these updates that they've done you have to find at least 10 new aberrations and um, well no I would assume even with these aberrations um, these, these crabs um, the, the, it was an automatic update and you would have to probably find all of them for the Platinum uh, for uh, Aberration Attractor if you haven't gotten that already um, for those of us who Platinum this game when it came out or before Update 2 at least nothing to worry about, you're good to go but uh, you still need to find the Aberrations for the Pillar Reach and then if you want the customization you have to find you have to get these crabs so, there I just showed off all the flags as I was babbling about something completely different. <laughs> and finally, the crown of Nadir. The final aberration. Final crab aberration. Type crab that I needed. So I'm going to uh, wheel myself over to the traveling merchant and then I'm just going to show you the entire um, aberration encyclopedia entry. So you can see everything. Um, we're gonna probably go very quickly past the the fish varieties, so we can focus on the crabs. But this way, we'll be able to see pretty much everything. I'm also, gonna show you real quick um, the flavor text and what it would give you as far as money. About 183 dollars there. A fractal gateway reaching beyond the abyss from its from its something whispers a call of something I don't know I missed that um, anyway and we had shown what the anchor did in the previous video um, the whole reason I went in <laughs> once I had gotten the pill reach kind of summed up and done I was like oh yeah you know what we never looked at the rewards and I pulled that out and I pulled um, and realized that I had to travel further to to read the book to find out what the reward was with that and um that's how i discovered <laughs> update three that happened apparently two months before all right so here's our uh, cerebral crab malignant pincer those are the two aberrations in the marrows and some of these are new aberrations as of update two you splintered crab and your Cortex Decorator are the Gale Cliffs Crab Aberrations. Your Crown of Nadir. This is the first one that has three aberrations. 
crown of nadir, entangled crab, and imperious lobster. Again, 5 to 50 meters to catch that one. Then we move on to Twisted Strand here. And we have the Effigy Crab and the Meyer Screecher. So, so far, nine new aberrations. The Grasping Snail. And the two black crab aberrations that we need for the black paint, the sable reacher, and the umbral puppet. So that's 12 so far, but we do have at least the um, leeching prawn. 13. And then that's pretty much it. That should be, update three, should be just those 13 new crab aberrations. Um, again, some of them aren't really officially crabs, but they are categorized as crab um, for now. And these are the Pale Reach aberrations. Um, so we started at 61 aberrations in the main game. Update two added 10 more aberrations. Um, and I don't have in front of me exactly which one of those aberrations they were. Um, it was pretty much like two aberrations per uh, location were added. Most of which were species that already had aberrations, but um, it doesn't matter. And you can always check the guide too if you need to know about that or look at my video for um, update two. Um, So we have the 13 aberrations there. So we started with 61. 10 were added for update 2. So it's 71. And um, 13 more added in update 3. And with the um, other 12 from the Pale Reach, uh, as far as aberrations are concerned, altogether there are 96 aberrations that you need to now find. It started with 61, and now... It went all the way up to 96 for Aberration Attractor. On the other side, um, just to balance out the numbers, we started with 67 varieties of fish, um, and the Pale Reach added uh, 10 new fish that you can catch, plus the rare Sleeper Shark. Uh, so that is 11 new ones altogether, uh, totaling 78. Um, let me just double check that math 78 plus 96 is 174 yep and that is the number that was in the encyclopedia so we are good to go as far as um making sure we know what we need to catch if we are still working on those trophies here's where all the flags were found again not tied to any trophies as of yet but uh Hopefully that can help you out there. And this, I I just went in uh, for the for the DLC guide and uh, marked out where the ice axes are located, the ice pickaxe locations there. That's why that happens to be there on the map. But um, so hopefully uh, you've had your chance to dig into the Pale Reach and you've enjoyed it. Hopefully these guides have helped you, and um, and this one especially being for update three. If you need those aberrations, hopefully this was a, a help uh, to you. Chances are there will be more updates, but if not, we'll see you in the new year with uh, the next DLC. Hope this helped. Take care.